light over darkness 33 how are you doing today i hope you're doing well i hope your day is going great listen i want to talk to you about spiritual warfare it seems like we have a lot of things going on in this world a lot of things that are made to make us fear and a lot of things are made to, done to make us angry anger and fear those two things signify darkness and we know that we don't operate in darkness we don't have the spirit of fear we have power love and a sound mind and we know that our angels are working on our behalf we know that our earth angels are working for us we know that our angels, that our archangels are working for us, like Michael and Gabriel, Uriel, those, those angels, they're working for us. And there's a whole host of angels working for us. When you see those double numbers, whether it's uh, another number at the beginning, as long as it's at least two of the same numbers at the end, look it up. And that's the angel trying to get a word to you. But I want you to know that you can't fight against uh, spiritual madness, spiritual anger, spiritual fear. Anybody trying to do anything wrong to you by using witchcraft, bad witchcraft, okay? Um, those, there's many things that can be done about this. And you would use the elements on your behalf when standing outside in the air. You're breathing in and you're breathing out. You're letting in goodness, you're letting out badness. And you're reversing it. You're going around, turn around, turn around. You want God to turn around. Father, turn this around on my behalf. Don't let anything happen to me or my children. Just because this person does not like me. Because you see, when people tamper in that to try to hurt other people, um, they get their hands dirty. And I know you guys have read in the Bible about having clean hands. That means do nobody no harm. Do no one harm. How about that? Do no one harm. Because at my previous video, I talked about karma, right? When you do someone harm, it comes right back to you. If you hurt a soul that comes right back around to you. And in the end, you'll face the consequences of those things. So we're going to use our natural elements, air, water, rain, and we're going to use prayer for strength. And no matter how you feel, I want you to always say, I reverse it. I reverse it. God, take this away. Send it back to the sender. And then go wash your face. That's what my mother always told me. Go wash your face. Go wash your hands. And tell God about it. Tell that person, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Why? Because I'm strong. I am strong. I am strong. I'm not a weak person who will believe what you say, who will believe what you're trying to do. I'm stronger than any devil. And then you tell them they're lying. Every time you hear those words that somebody spoke over your life, like they God, you tell me a lie. You are not God. My father is God. 
He protects me. He takes care of me. He won't let anybody hurt me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And it shall go back to you. It goes back to the sender. Take your shoes off. Dust your feet off. And get ready for spiritual warfare. Because you think about fight. You think fighting in the, in the physical is, is hard. Working in the spirit is deeper than any physical fight you could get into. Because the spirit can be seen or unseen. So that's the prayer that you use. Protect me, God, against seen and unseen demonic spirits. And when you pray, believe in your prayers. Believe that you have faith greater than a mustard seed. Know that God will and God can take care of you. And then on top of that, you have ancestors who were here before you. And they are fighting in the spirit for you. They will help you along your journey as well. Because they know the outcome. And they know what needs to be done in order to help you. So with God and your ancestors and your faith, you can't lose. You cannot lose with those things. Keep your mind on these things. Whatsoever is lovely. Whatsoever is gentle. Whatsoever is kind. Whatsoever is merciful. Be a good person. No, the, I'm not going to tell you the good guys finish last. No, they don't. Because we have this power inside of us. And this power will let us get through anything. Illness. Homelessness. Financial woes. Bankruptcy. Spiritual attacks. It will let us get through these things. Faith. Bone up on your faith. Have your faith strong so that nobody can take you down. Have your faith so strong that you can speak to a thing and it shall happen on your faith. Get your faith up. Meditate. Call forth those things that be not as though they were. I am that I am. Believe in these things because they will help you in the end. And they will help your children and your children's children and their children. See, we were taught from the beginning. We were taught when we were kids how to pray, how to have faith, how to believe. Don't let that go. I don't care What's new in the world? What's happening in the world? Everybody free, everybody doing whatever. Keep your faith. Your faith is what's going to help you out. Your faith is going to, what's going to manifest things. Your faith is going to motivate you to greatness. You can be whatever you want to be. If you believe it. Work on opening your third eye. I told you how to do it. Close your eyes and look up towards your, your eyebrows. And meditate on God. See what you see up there. Some of y'all might need to uh, do a little house cleaning around your third eye. Just kind of get the cobwebs out because it ain't never been open. <laughs> but do that 
If that's what makes you feel better, do it. If that's what makes things happen for you, do it. You can do it. 11-11. 11-11. Awake, children. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, you guys. You have a nice day. And let God lead you. And know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Whether it's physical or spiritual. Or even if it's a heart weapon. Love to you. Love to your family. You guys have a good day. I love you. I love you from my head, from my heart, and from my soul. And everything within me. Take care, my loves. Bye.